Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, dear students around the world. Welcome to your new English YouTube channel and classes. English course level 1, lesson 33. By the end of this mini lesson 33, part 1, you will have focused on now and learned and practice the following objective. Verb to speak or speak. In present simple, part 1, with subject plus verb with I, you, we, they, plus speak. English tenses. Present simple is the first tense we're dealing with in this English course level 1 A1. The most important words of this English tense are don't and do. Uses of present simple. It means when do we use present simple? We use present simple when we speak in general. For example, I play football. I, I am speaking in general, but I don't play it now. For habits or repeated action. For example, I have lunch at 1 o'clock. So it's a habit. For permanent situations, for example, I study at university. I live in Spain. And with adverbs of frequency, I always watch TV. I usually watch TV. I often watch TV. I sometimes watch TV. I rarely watch TV. I never watch TV. So these adverbs of frequency, we are going to study them in the future. Positive or affirmative sentences with verb speak in present simple with subject plus verb. So this is the rule. Subject verb. And the subject here we have four uh, four per uh, subject pronouns I, you, we, they plus speak and speak doesn't change this is the rule I speak you speak we speak you speak they speak so you see the verb doesn't change in the negative form we use the word don't with I, you, we and they Let's see. This is the rule. Huh? I don't speak. So don't is between I and the verb. Between subject pronoun and the verb. I don't speak. You don't speak. We don't speak. You don't speak. They don't speak. Let's continue. In the question, we use do with I, you, we, they. Let's see. Do I speak? Do you speak? Do we speak? Do you speak? Do they speak? So, do you, the first one is one person, and do you, the second one, two people or more. So, pay attention to the examples. Positive sentences or affirmative sentences. I speak English. I speak Arabic. I speak French, I speak German, I speak Italian, I speak Chinese, I speak one language, I speak two languages. So student, they say, I speak two language. No, I speak two languages. So this is the positive form. Let's go to the negative form. I don't speak English. I don't speak Arabic. I don't speak French. I don't speak German. I don't speak Italian. I don't speak Chinese. I don't speak three languages. I don't speak four languages. Let's continue. The question form. So the question form, we are going to have two slides, one with I and the second one with you. So do I speak English? Do I speak Arabic? Do I speak French? Do I speak German? Do I speak Italian? Do I speak Chinese? Do I speak one language? Do I speak two languages? Now I am asking you if I speak these languages now i am going to ask you now i am going to ask you do you speak english do you speak arabic do you speak french 
Do you speak German? Do you speak Italian? Do you speak Chinese? Do you speak one language? Do you speak two languages? Let's go to more examples in the positive form. I speak to myself. I speak to people. I speak to you. I speak to my teacher. I speak about money. It's not money, money. I speak to my manager. Let's repeat these examples. I speak to myself. I speak to people. I speak to you. I speak to my teacher. I speak about money. I speak to my manager. So verbs speak to or speak with the same, but I like speak to. Negative form. I don't speak to myself. I don't speak to people. I don't speak to you. I don't speak to my teacher. I don't speak about money. I don't speak to my manager. As I said in the previous slide, if you use I don't speak with myself, it's correct, but the best one is to. I don't speak to myself. I don't speak to people. I don't speak to you. I don't speak to my teacher. I don't speak about money. I don't speak to my manager. Let's go to the question form. Do I speak to myself? Do I speak to people? Do I speak to you? Do I speak to my teacher? Do I speak about money? Do I speak to my manager? Now I am asking you, do you speak to yourself? Do you speak to people? Do you speak to me? Do you speak to your teacher? Do you speak about money? Do you speak to your manager? Let's continue with more examples in the positive form. You speak, now we are going to change I to you, we and they. You speak a different language. We speak to each other. They speak English very well. You speak first. We speak three languages. They speak Japanese. Let's repeat after me. You speak a different language. We speak to each other. So not other, it's a other. We speak to each other, other. They speak English very well. You speak first. We speak three languages. They speak Japanese. Let's see the negative form. You don't speak a different language. We don't speak to each other. They don't speak English very well. You don't speak fluently. Fluently means very well. We don't speak three languages. They don't speak Japanese. You don't speak very quickly. Let's repeat after me. You don't speak a different language. We don't speak to each other. They don't speak English very well. You don't speak fluently. We don't speak three languages. They don't speak Japanese. You don't speak very quickly. Let's go to question four. Do you speak a different language? Do we speak to each other? Do they speak English very well? Do you speak English fluently? Do we speak three languages? Do they speak Japanese? Let's continue. Let's go to more positive sentences. They speak to their neighbors. We speak the same language. You speak very slowly. They speak Portuguese. We speak about football. You speak better than me. They speak nonsense. We speak about the exams. Let's repeat after me. They speak to their neighbors. We speak the same language. You speak very slowly. They speak Portuguese. 
We speak about football. You speak better than me. They speak nonsense. We speak about the exams. Let's see the negative form. They don't speak to their neighbors. We don't speak the same language. You don't speak very slowly. They don't speak Portuguese. We don't speak about football. You don't speak better than me. They don't speak about religion. We don't speak about the exams. Let's see the question form. Do they speak to their, to their neighbors? Do we speak the same language? Do you speak very slowly? Do they speak Portuguese? Do we speak about football? Do you speak Urdu? Urdu is the language of Pakistan. Do they speak Swedish? The Swedish is the language of Sweden. Do we speak about the exams? To conclude, from all the examples we've studied so far, we notice that the verb speak in present simple doesn't change in the positive, negative and question with I, you, we, you and they. So in the next lesson, we are going to study verb speak with he, she, it. Until then, see you soon on our two YouTube channels, House School Hassan HSH with uh, English with Arabic translation and House College Hassan HCH. Lesson 34. Please support our channel by clicking like if you like the content. Write a small comment, share the video with your family, friends and the people you know. If you haven't subscribed to our channel up to now, please do subscribe to help us, uh, to help us survive and continue helping you. Goodbye.